So, now let's set up the development environment for Windows. So the first thing we need to do is to check if we have Java installed. So just go to your start menu and write CMD and click on the command prompt. So I'm just going to write Java and press enter. And I don't have Java installed. So now we need to um, download and install Java. So let's just open up a web browser and go to www.java.com and um, let's just click this download button all right and again click this download button okay there we go and let's go to our downloads folder and let's just install Java. Double click on the file. Yes. Let me close this one and click install. So this is just a straightforward installation. Normal Java installation. Now, if you have Java, uh, then it's probably fine. The only reason we need Java is because uh, something that we'll be going to install in a minute is called kick assembler and that needs Java. All right, so you have inst successfully installed Java. All right, close that one. And now let's just see, CMD, Java, yeah, perfect. So now we have Java installed. So the next thing we need to install is, like I mentioned, something called Kick Assembler. And let me just get the link for that. I'll be back in one second. Okay, so here we go. Here is the link. So the link for this is going to be in the resources for this video. So I'm going to copy that and go to this website. Let me just close this one. All right, so this is a step-by-step -step instruction to install something called Kick Assembler. Now, don't worry about the details for now. I'm going to uh, explain everything in detail eventually as we go along. But for now, let's just worry about downloading and installing this kick assembler. So the first thing uh, in this step-by-step -step, uh, step -step instruction is to ensure that Java runtime environment is installed. Now we already did that, so we don't have to worry about that. The next step is to install, to download and install kick assembler. So let's just click kick assembler right here. And let's click download. And there we go. So let me just close the browser and go to my downloads folder. And here we go with kick assembler. Now it's in a zip file, so we need to unzip it. So I'm just going to drag this with my right mouse button and let go on an empty area and click extract. So there we go. Now we have extracted kick assembler. So uh, let's just right click this uh, kick assembler folder and click cut. Now we need to go to this PC, C colon. And here in C colon, we need to make a new folder. So just right click on an empty area, click new folder. And we're going to call this folder c64 go into your c64 folder and let's make a new folder called tools go into your tools folder and right click and paste so the kick assembler folder is going to be placed in c colon c64 tools now the reason for that is that uh, the setup that we're going to be using with Kick Assembler has this path by default. So let's just keep the default setup. All right, so that's Kick Assembler. The next thing we need is our code editor. So let's go uh, to our web browser and let's just search for 
sublime text sublime text that's the code editor that we'll be using so let's click here now sublime text is not a free product uh, however you can download and use it for free but you will get constant reminders that you need a license to continue using it so it's really up to you uh, i have to mention that um, the uh, price for uh, sublime is a little bit on the expensive side it's around a hundred dollars so it's really up to you but for now i'm just going to download and install this free version so download for windows and uh, let's see let's just finish um come on there we go so let's close the browser and again let's go to our downloads folder so let's just install sublime text now this is just a simple install just next next finish so click yes next next and install and finish there we go so close this window now let's start sublime so click your windows start menu sublime there we go let's launch that and here we have sublime so this is our code editor this is where we will be writing all our code but we need to connect sublime to this kick assembler that we just downloaded so the way we do that is first of all go to tools install package control And there we go, package control was successfully installed. So now we can go to tools, uh, sorry, preferences, go to preferences, package control. And now just write install. So the first choice here says install package. Click on install package. And now we just write kick. And the second choice here says kick assembler C64. Click that one. Mm, okay, come on. There we go. All right, so I don't know if you noticed it, but for a brief second, we could see down here that it said that the uh, kick assembler module for Sublime was, success was uh, successfully installed. It was a message here for just a brief second. So now we need to close Sublime for these changes to take effect. So just close Sublime. All right, so now we need to um, download our Commodore 64 emulator so let's open up a web browser again and let's search for something called vice c64 so vice is the versatile Commodore emulator so click that one and let's go to download and here there are several versions here so it might be a little confusing but it's really simple we need uh, this gtk3 version gtk3 now most likely uh, you can use this 64-bit version there is a 32-bit version but that's only if you have a really really old computer like at least 10 years old so most likely you'll be using this 64-bit version so i'm going to download 64-bit gtk3 that's this 
Vice 37. So I'm going to download that. And uh, let's just wait uh, a second or two. All right. Well, while we wait, okay, here we go. So that's taken care of. Perfect. So close the browser. Let's go back to our downloads folder. All right, so here we have GTK3 Vice. And again, it's in a zip file. So just drag it with your right mouse button, let go and extract. And come on. There we go. All right. So in your downloads folder, you now have GTK3 Vice 3.7. In that folder, you have a new folder called exactly the same. Now this is the real one. So let's just right click that one and cut. Let's go back to this PC, C colon and C64 tools, go into tools. So here we have our kick assembler folder. Just right click in here and click paste. All right. So first of all, let's just start the device to see if it works. So go into your GTK3 Vice folder, go into your bin folder, and all the way here at the bottom, we have something called X64SC. So I'm going to start that one. And yes, there we go. So this is the uh, Commodore 64 emulator where we are going to uh, test our game, test all the code that we are going to write. So it's working great, perfect. So just close the emulator for now. Yes, we wish to close. All right, so we're almost done, but we need to do one more thing. So let's go over here to, uh, up here to the address bar. Just click up here in the address bar and make sure the entire path is selected and right click copy now just close this window so what we need to do now is to add the path to the commodore 64 emulator um, into um, wind the windows environment so that windows knows where our emulator is and the way we do that is to go back to File Explorer, go to this PC. Now we need to right click this PC. We need to show more options and we need to go down to properties. And now let's just click advanced system settings. So in system about, go to advanced system settings. By the way, don't worry too much about all the stuff that we're doing right now, because all of this, this is just a one-time thing. So now we're just setting up our environment, and once that's in place, then we don't have to do it, uh, uh, do this um, anymore. All right, so anyway, here in System Properties, Advanced, go down to Environment Variables. Click that one, make sure Path is selected, and click edit click new in this window and now we just right click and paste the thing we just copied and click enter to confirm and now click ok once again ok and let's just close these windows all right so now we should be pretty um, good to go. So let's just start Sublime Text again. Go to Start menu, start Sublime Text. All right, so now let's just write 
really simple test example. Now we're going to write a little bit of assembly code, but don't worry about the code for now. This is just to test our uh, development environment, to see that everything's working like it should. So, just write what I write. And don't worry too much what it actually means, because all of this is st uh, stuff that I'm going to explain in much more detail as we go along. So for now, let's just write basic upstart 2. Capital B in basic, capital U in upstart. And no spaces. So basic upstart 2. Like that. And without any spaces, I'm going to write main in parentheses. So main, whoops. Main, and below that, I'm just going to write main colon, and below that, I'm just going to write loop colon, and below that, I'm just going to write inc space dollar sign d020, and below that. I'm just going to write JMP and loop. So this is uh, actually assembly code right here. But like I said, don't worry about this for now. Just write exactly what I did right here. Okay, so now let's save this file. So file, save as. I'm just going to save mine on the uh, desktop. And I'm going to call it main.asm. Click save. So if you get these color codes, like uh, I, uh, I got purple here for these two, and I got yellow for this one. So if you got these color codes, that's a great sign because it means that our setup is working so far. It recognizes the assembly language. All right, so now we can actually launch our code. And if everything works, it's going to launch the emulator as well. So the way we do that is just it's really simple. You just press F7. So just press F7 on your keyboard right now. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So our setup is working perfectly. Our emulator is now running and this weird pattern is a result of the code we just wrote. Perfect. If you got this working, great job. So, I'm gonna close this one. So that's it for this setup. So I'll see you in the next video.